All right, in this video, this is a part two to KLWP and Tasker working together. In the first video I did, it dealt with toggles, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and what was the other one? Sound, yeah. All right, in this one, we're gonna talk about notifications, and there's nothing up here telling me I have a notification, but I do have Tasker and KLWP working together. So let me show you what happens. Let me go into Tasker, and I have uh, two things that I want to receive notifications for. So I've created two variables in Tasker, email and text. And notice they're both zero, and we don't see anything. I'm going to show you how to create these tasks. Um, suppose I did, suppose my uh, email app, or excuse me, suppose my messaging app, or suppose my email app received an email or a text. Um, it's going to trigger these tasks. Text received. Suppose um, I had my phone, I was away from my phone, and I received three text messages. So um, let me play this once, twice, and a third time. And now let's go back to variables. Notice uh, the text messages, like I said, I, I received three of them. So now that variable has been added up once, twice, and a third time. Same thing for email. Suppose I was away from my phone and I received four emails one, two, three, four. I'm just playing that task four times and if I go back to my variables notice my email has gone up to four. I'm going to show you how to do all this but I want to show you what KLWP is doing too. Alright so I got four emails, three text messages according to what my task says. So I'm going back to the home screen now you didn't see this while ago but this is my little notification saying hey I have three texts remember we did have three texts that's what the variable said in tasker Tasker is going to send that number to KLWP. And then that four emails, it's going to do the same thing as well. Now, how can I reset this? There's uh, three ways I can reset these things. One way, if I open my messaging app, so let me open up my messaging app real quick. Where is it at? All right, so I opened it up. And then look, now I have zero text because it reset my text messages. Let me open up my email app open up my email app got it opened let me go back and now look oh the whole thing disappeared what in the world happened it's supposed to do that I have KLWP set up so that if both of those variables are zero if my email counter and my text counter are both zero I don't want to see anything down here but if one or the other does have a notification I'm going to at least see that thing down there at the bottom because if you recall, it did say you have zero text and four emails. But when I opened my email app, it reset my email back to zero. So therefore, I had zero in both of them. And I have all this stuff integrated with KLWP and Tasker. Now, let me go back into Tasker real quick. Notice both of them are back at zero because I did open my text messaging app. I did open my email app. And when both of those are zero, KLWP is not going to show it to me. And I'm going to show you that as well. So let me show you the four tasks or five tasks that I have for this. I have a text receive, text reset, email receive, email reset, and then I have something to reset all my notification counters. And I tell you what, let me show you why I created this one as well. So text receive, let me receive two text messages. Got that. Let me go back and let's suppose we just get one email. So email received, I'll play that one time. Now I'm back, email one, text two. So going back to my home screen, notice I have two texts and one email. There is a way that I'm using KLWP as well to reset everything. Remember inside of Tasker, I have this task right here. Reset all notification counters. I'm using this task um, inside of KLWP that so if I see this thing and I don't want to see it, I just want to go ahead and reset it because I'm tired of looking at it. If I press that flasher, bam both of my variables went back to zero and basically all I'm doing there is I'm just taking this one task and I'm using uh, the text reset task and the email reset task all in one to reset them both back to zero and remember I'm going to show you this but KLWP I have it set up to where if both of these things are zero I don't want to see that flashing thing but I do have it so if one or the other has at least one notification, I'm going to get that flashing thing at the bottom to let me know I do have either an email or a text message. Now, 
let's talk about how to set up these tasks, just in case you're not familiar with it. If you are, fast forward. I'll talk about KOWP in a second. Let's look at text received. All right, the two things that I have in text received. Remember, we had a variable percent text. I want to add one to it every time this task is triggered. And I also want to send a variable to KOWP. So the way you add a variable, I'm just going to show it to you here anyway. You go to plus, you go to variable, you go to variable add, pick your variable. In this case, it would be the text messaging one. And you just want to add one to it. That's how I did the variable add. Notice it did it again down here because I just did it. But uh, I don't need that in here because I already have it. KOWP send variable, just to recap how to do that, go to plus, go to plugin, go to custom live wallpaper, and do a configuration. Now, I just received an email there, so it's going to actually show me something anyway. But anyway, uh, add in a KOWP variable, configuration, and now what you want to do here, I already had this created, but uh, what I called this, you would want to type in percent whatever variable you did. I had, I'm using text message, so it'd be percent text, and then I just called my custom variable text, and I'll show you that as well. Um, let me exit out of this, or cancel there we go but that's how I create that send variable let me show you what I did call it so under configuration I'm using the task or variable percent text this is how it's going to get that zero one two three four or how many ever times or how many ever whatever value that variable is and I call the custom variable just text to make it easy on myself now this is the same exact setup for email received except I'm using variable add percent email add one and then my custom live wallpaper uh, custom live wallpaper variable is use the tasker variable so I want to see that number and then I'm just calling my custom variable email all right let's look at the reset to reset the text or the email the way I'm resetting my text, I want to, whenever I do reset my text, I'll show you how to reset it, but I want to set the variable to zero. And the way you do that, plus, go to variables, go to variable set, pick the variable that you want to reset. In this case, I don't know which one it was, but I'm just picking the variable and you want to set it to zero. All right. Now, I'm probably in the wrong one, but nonetheless, you pick the variable that you want to set and you set it to zero. That's how we're going to reset that thing. So I don't need that one in there. And then once that variable is reset to zero, I want to send that. I'm using the same uh, plugin, Custom Live Wallpaper. Send that tasker variable to KOWP. And um, really, this is the same name as we had for the text receiving uh, as well. Same thing happens for email reset, set the variable email to zero, and then send that variable to KOWP. So these send variables for KOWP, um, for email received and email reset, both of these things, email received, I'm sending the same variable, email reset, I'm sending that same variable to KOWP. But by us sending it two separate times, we're sending the new value of that variable. Um, that tasker has created, whether it be one, two, three, four, if we've received four emails, or if we reset it, it will send that zero to custom live wallpaper as well. And then I did talk about this one. I'm taking these two tasks, text reset and email reset, and I'm putting them inside of one task. Um, reset all notifications. Perform task, the way you can do that, go to plus, go to task, go to perform task, and then you can just simply pick those tasks that, that you want to do. Um, I did the text reset, and there's that there, if I, and I didn't change anything else. But And then you would do the same thing for email. But I've already done that, but I was just showing you how to do that again, just in case uh, you're not too familiar with Tasker. So that's all my tasks that I've created. How do we trigger these tasks? Now, uh, I don't have a profile created for reset all notification counters. I do have profiles created for these four tasks here. Text receive, text reset, email receive, email reset. Under profiles, you can see four profiles that will do this stuff. Text counter. All right, remember the task we created, text receive? Remember, text receive will add a variable to our percent text variable. How do I do this? Whenever I receive a notification in my messaging app, I want to run this task. So basically, whenever I get a text message, add one to my text variable. 
If I receive another one, add another one to it. And this will keep on increasing until we reset it. So how do you do this? Um, notification messages. How do we get Tasker to show this? Go to plus under profiles. You want to pick an event underneath UI, user interface. Click on notification. And then you want to pick whatever application you want to get a notification from. It doesn't have to be text messages. It doesn't have to be email. It can be whatever app you have up here. If you get a notification from it and you want to get told about it, pick it. Um, what I would pick for text messaging, I just use my messages app right there, and um, I use type mail for email. Where are you at? Oh, I um, got to know my alphabet, but anyway, it's right there, type mail. Those are my two apps, but I'm doing two separate ones, so be careful there. Let me cancel this because I've already done it. But uh, that's how I'm doing that. Uh, I go to plus, then you go to your UI notification and then pick the app that you want to get a notification from. Then once you do that, make sure you trigger that task to happen. Same thing for email counter. When I receive a notification, I do the same way. I go to plus UI notification and then I pick that app. I want to trigger my email received app. How do I reset these? If I want to reset each one individually, I reset my text counter. I'll reset this thing to zero whenever I open my messages app and the way you do that you just add the application you just add that profile add the application pick the application and basically this is saying oh let me cancel out of that when you open messages text reset trigger that task same thing for email when I open my email app I want to reset now what you have to be careful here with if you're not familiar with Tasker email counter this is getting a notification in the email app I'm not opening my email app to make this task here happen whenever I get an email I want to trigger this but when I open my email I want to reset that counter now like I mentioned earlier um, I'm using all four of those tasks in these profiles now yeah each task is getting used in its own profile separately but the one task I did not create a profile for is reset all notification counters. So create all that. Make sure you have your variable straight. Um, play them like I was doing earlier to test and make sure these things do count up and make sure they do reset. You'll see a one here because I did receive an email a few minutes ago. But uh, nonetheless, back at our home screen, I do see my flasher. And again, I had this flasher set up to display to me Whenever, it, I mean, notice I have a zero text, but I have one email. The only time this thing will go away is when I have zero text and zero uh, emails according to my task or variable. So let's go into KLWP. And let me show you how I link these things together. Now I have an overlap group, and I just called it notifications. So there's that thing flashing because I still have an email. Now, let's go ahead and take care of this text. So I had that text. You have zero text and one email. How do I have this set up? Well, it says you have zero text and one email. Well, where that zero is, it's triggering, it's broadcasting the tasker variable, and then this is that KLWP variable. Remember, I called it just text. But when it broadcasts for that, what it's really picking up is that percent text and percent text was at zero inside of Tasker. And if you remember right before we left Tasker a few minutes ago, um, my broadcasting for the Tasker email variable, percent email, remember I did receive an email as I was working on this video, so it did go up to one. So whatever that number is, whatever that variable is in Tasker, um, whether it be zero, one, two, three, four, five for text, it's gonna show that number there. And the same thing for our email variable because that's how we set up our plug-in variable inside of Tasker. So these will change based on whatever Tasker is using there. So you can use a formula something like that if you're looking for something similar. Now, also, okay, touch. Let me show you what happens if I touch this overlap group that I call notifications. If I touch this flashing thing on my home screen, this is that reset all notifications. I did not create a profile in Tasker for this. I just created a task. So when I touch this um, overlap group, launch a shortcut, and the shortcut we want to do 
is a task shortcut and you want to reset all notification counters. That's what I'm doing here. So basically I'm performing reset my text and reset my email. And that's what will happen if I touch this thing um, when I do have it on my home screen, by the way. All right, one more thing to discuss here. How do I make this thing disappear and not flash at me? And remember, I've mentioned this a couple of times already. The only time I don't want this thing flashing is when both of these things are zero. So this has to be zero and this one has to be zero to make it disappear. And the way I do that, I'm in my overlap group notifications, go to layer and visible. I'm using a formula for visible. So if my percent text in tasker, think about it like that. In tasker, if my percent text is zero, and in tasker if my percent email is zero i never want to show this thing otherwise i always want to show it now the and thing is what's crucial i want this one to be zero and this one to be zero to never show it otherwise i always want to show this by me putting the and in there both of those things have to be zero if one if one of them is not zero it's going to show it and think about that. You do want it showing because you might not have a text message, but you might have an e email or vice versa. So um, the only time you don't, or the only time I don't want to see it in this case is when both this one and this one are zero. That's what that and statement means right there. So I'm triggering those two things, and again, I'm using my layer to display that. So that's how I have that working on, or that's how I have that going on. Now I didn't change anything inside of KLWP, but I did show you how I. Uh, link tasker to it so I don't need to save this I have my email showing so how can I make this email go away if you remember what I said I can open my email app to reset it or I can simply touch this thing down here now when I touch this it's going to reset my text and my emails my text is already at zero anyway so when I touch this it's going to reset that to zero and it's going to disappear because now both this one and this one will be zero so let me touch that and as you can see it does disappear all right, so there's part two to how I use Tasker and KLWP together, and this revolved all around notifications. You can do this for any app on your phone to receive notifications from it. Um, again, I never used Auto Notify. There's nothing wrong with using Auto Notify, but since I only had two apps that I really want notifications from, my text messaging and my email, I just assumed to let Tasker itself, with no additional plugins, take care of it. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.